The mission of Oscar's Kids is so deeply personal to me due to one of the most inspiring friendships of my life with a little boy from Ireland by the name of Oscar Keogh and his amazing parents, Yavanna and Lar. Oscar was diagnosed with DIPG at three and a half. DIPG is a rare and aggressive form of pediatric cancer with no effective treatments or cure. Um, when a child is given this diagnosis, there's no hope. It's terminal, and the parents are told to go make memories while they can. And as a parent, you always want to do everything you possibly can for your child. So to rob a parent of that is just beyond horrific. It was after Oscar passed away at age five that I decided to join forces with his parents to start Oscar's Kids. They're running the Ireland division, and my husband and I are running the U.S. chapter, and it's just imperative to me that Oscar's kids become a vessel for funding that's so desperately needed for research to find improved treatments and a cure for DIPG and, and other childhood cancers. Oscar Kio was an endlessly magical and brave little boy. His parents describe him as sunshine, and that's just what he is. His parents had reached out to me, and it was truly the power of a mother's love that drew me to this incredible family. His mother, Yav, is an amazing writer and was detailing what they were going through on, on her blog. And she not only managed to exquisitely articulate the anguish of what they were going through and the overwhelming love a parent feels for their child, but she also managed to articulate to the reader the vital reminder that time is not guaranteed with our loved ones and how we need to appreciate every second I'm an intensely private person, and the thing that I like the absolute least about my job is the public nature of it. So in trying to make peace with that, I've come to realize that having a public platform is an opportunity for good. And I feel very grateful to be able to try and do that with Oscar's kids. And since pediatric cancer is so wildly underfunded, with only 4% of funding going to childhood cancer research and even less going to more rare cancers like DIPG, private fundraising is just so vital. Um, my hope is that my voice will be able to reach a larger group to shine a light on, A, how we need to do better for our kids in this area and more funding just has to go to research. And B, um, until then, I want to help raise as much as I can for the brilliant minds that are working tirelessly to find new treatments and cures for pediatric cancer just follow your heart. I know it sounds so cliche, but if you have a passion for something, I feel that that fuel is 90% of what you need to make any sort of change happen. I would also say to look out for the overlooked and to listen to the problems that are having trouble being heard. The And then really identify the best and brightest among us who are innovating in that field um, that you're seeking to make strides in and see how you can collaborate with them to support their efforts.